What is up everyone? I'm Igor. Welcome to my workshop. In the previous video, I have demonstrated how to bypass the filament runout sensor and tighten up the belts on Artillery Sidewinder X1 3D printer and what effect it has on print quality. Now today I'm gonna update the firmware on the same printer to unlock EEPROM and add a couple of new features. Then I'm gonna perform PID and exterior calibration and see if it has any effect on print quality. By the way, if you have not seen the previous video, I, su I suggest you check it out. The link is going to be in this corner and also down there in the description. Let's get started, shall we? Let's begin with the simplest part of this exercise, which is updating the TFT firmware. To do that, you just need a small sized microSD card, preferably not more than 32 gigabytes, formatted as FAT32, not NTFS. Download the firmware from Thingiverse, link is in the description, and unzip the corresponding files to the root of the microSD card. Then turn off your printer, insert the card, turn the printer on, and just wait. It only takes a few minutes. For the mainboard update, you need to open the printer. Stop! Disconnect the power cable first. There is line voltage inside and it can kill you. Now, after having disconnected the mains cable, you need to unscrew these six screws and remove the cover. Make sure not to rip off the fan cable. Carefully disconnect it from the control board, and now the cover can be removed. Now you need to disconnect the cable that links the TFT board to the control board. And I give up. At least in my machine, both ends of the cable are completely covered with huge globs of hot snot inside and outside. I cannot remove it all and um, I'm afraid to rip off the wires or connectors from the board. It may be good to ensure nothing gets disconnected during transport, but in my case they went way over the top with the glue. Time for the plan B. Plan B is more complicated but less invasive. And for that you, you will need a computer running Linux. I'm using Ubuntu running from a live USB. Instructions for this method are in the link down in the description, but basically you will run a flashing tool from the command line in a loop and connect the printer while it's running so it has a chance to intercept and establish the serial connection before the screen does. It has succeeded from the second attempt for me. Much easier than opening the printer and removing all that hot glue. Now let's perform PID calibration. The new TFT firmware has a special button for that. I'll monitor the printer with Octoprint. Hmm, not perfect, but okay, let's see how this works. Okay, there's clearly an issue. 
The printer reaches the set bed temperature, then sits at the temperature for about 5 minutes before finally deciding to heat up the hot end. The same happens to the hot end, however, only in this case it doesn't even recognize that it is at the set temperature and just sits there not printing. Let's try to reset the values and print again. And to do that, the, there is an M502 command to reset and M500 to save. Finally, it's printing. Notice the hot end temperature has overshot again, but at least it's working and the temperatures are relatively stable. I'm not sure what's going on with PID calibration, perhaps I'll have to tune it manually. If you're following these instructions, please give automatic PID calibration a try and let me know in the comments whether you're experiencing these issues or not. Anyway, as our final step for today, let's calibrate the extruder. For that you will need a marker and a caliper or a ruler. Measure 120 mm of filament from the extruder. Then preheat your printer to your material temperature and issue the following commands to the printer. M503 to find the set steps per millimeter. Uh, there's gonna be a bunch of lines. Look for M92 output. M83 to enable relative mode on the extruder, and then G1, E100, F100. This command will extrude 100 mm of plastic over, over the course of a minute. Once done, the printer should have extruded exactly 100 mm of filament. To check this, measure from the extruder to the mark on the filament. If the measurement is not 20 mm, the steps per mm setting needs to be adjusted. In my case, the measurement is 19 mm, so it is over extruding a bit, so I need to do some math. Then you can issue the M92E and then your new steps per millimeter value command to set the new steps per millimeter value and then M500 to save values. Now let's print our test model and compare quality. And that is all for today. Please let me know if you were able to safely disconnect the TFT cable in your machine. Now as I'm thinking about it, I could have probably used something like a hair dryer to soften up hot glue, but you know, the Linux way worked for me just fine and I'm probably gonna stick to it in the, in the future. The quality, I would say, keeps improving, but we are still not there yet. Also regarding my issues with PID calibrations and prints not starting, the developer of the firmware, Rob Scar on Thingiverse, and the link to his profile is going to be in the description, uh, was amazingly responsive, and he has provided me a test firmware to try on my machine. I'll definitely give it a try this weekend and let you guys know how it goes. Meanwhile, stay tuned for the next part, where I will finally try using an alternate spool holder, most likely an old spool holder for my One Huawei 3 Plus, and also we'll try replacing the PTFE tube in the hot end. 
I hope you liked this video and you learned something from it. If so, please click that like button, feel free to share this video, consider subscribing to my channel, and as always, your comments are very welcome. Thanks for watching, happy tinkering, and don't forget to have fun! Bye! Thank you.